Brother Henry, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, sir. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hallelujah. Amen. Without any further ado, Amen. We're going to call Elder uh, Marlene up, and uh, she is going to lead us today in our communion. Amen. Bless you. Let's give her a round of applause. Just to encourage her. Let's just bless the Lord today. Let's just give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Let's just stand on our feet. Let's just give God praise. Let's just thank him today. Hallelujah. As we come to the first song. Hallelujah. Let's just thank him for his blood. Let's just thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We're grateful to you. We're so grateful to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name, bless your name, bless your name. He alone deserves our praise. He alone deserves our worship. He alone deserves worship. He alone deserves praises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. It's time for us to partake of the Lord, just to think of his goodness and his mercies. Please can I ask all of my service to come? Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm reading from today. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 23 to 30. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 11, reading from verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in reverence of me in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this is the cup is a new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoso, therefore whoever eats this bread or drink this cup of the Lord in an, in an worthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. Amen. So that you can serve while I speak. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul, he reminded us, as often as we take the Lord's Supper, we are declaring his death and the expectation of his return. We are remembering his suffering. We are remembering the price that was paid, how costly it was. So every time we come together and we partake of the Lord's, we are remembering the price, the love, that was shed for us. His love so great, he laid down his life for us. When we also take the communion, we celebrate, amen? It's a time of celebration. We celebrate his grace and his redemption. We celebrate the fact that there's healing in his blood. We celebrate the fact that we have salvation, that we have victory and we have deliverance. Bless the Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ, thank you, 
It is the greatest medicine for us. Amen? We don't realize it, but every time we take the communion, we say to the Lord, thank you for this medicine. Thank you. You know, if I'm hurting, whatever it is, Lord, bring healing, bring deliverance to me. So we don't take it lightly. We, we know that there's medicine. You know, the word of God, you know, when we take the communion of the Lord, he also said to us, you know, remind us that we are servants. Yeah, we are servants. We serve each other. You know, our Lord, he was the greatest example. You know, he put a towel around himself and he served. So every time we come together, we are reminding ourselves that, Lord, we're here to serve each other. We're here to bless each other. We're here to love each other. The communion also, it unites us. Amen? We are united together. We are many, but we are yet one body as we share communion together. You know, in Psalms 1, 33, it reminds us of the blessing of unity. So communion brings us close together bring us into unity. So we just thank God today for his blood. We thank God that as we partake today, we know the precious blood of Jesus. You know, um, I think it was a few years ago, I was just thinking of the blood of Jesus Christ. And I had this dream, and um, the Lord, he took me into this massive park, and all the demons were there. And, you know, it's like the Lord said to me, just mention the blood of Jesus. And as soon as I mention the blood of Jesus, it's like they just vanish. And the Lord is just trying to explain to me the power that is in his blood. That when we take the blood of Jesus, when we apply the blood of Jesus to our lives, so we don't just come and we just take it and think, well, I eat the bread, I drink the wine. No, it's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that. You know, we are realizing the power that we've got inside of us. We are realizing our, in the, the love that God gave, you know, he gave himself for us. So every time we come together, we, are, we come together in oneness, in unity, to break bread, to share, and to realize that God is love us so much. The word of God said, for God so loved the world that he gave his own son. He died for us. So today, Lord, we don't take it lightly. The Word of God also said that we should examine ourselves. Before we partake of the Lord, I want us to examine ourselves. Amen. So we're going to stand. I'm just going to spend some time before we partake. And just, Lord, search me. You know, David said in Psalms 51, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Let my motives be right. Let me have a right attitude, Lord, before I take this communion. So we're just going to examine ourselves right now before we take of the communion. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To just examine ourselves today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let's just, just lift our hands. Oh, you know, we're just going to thank God. Father, we thank you today. We thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, as the Apostle Paul reminds us, Lord, as often as we take it, Lord. God, we are, oh God, we are declaring, we are proclaiming your death, Lord. We are declaring that, oh God, the price that was paid for us at Calvary. God, we are declaring, oh God, that you're coming back again for us, Lord. And so, Father, today we thank you for your blood. We thank you for the price that was paid for us at Calvary. And Lord, we give you thanks that, Lord, as we take together, Lord, Oh God, we come together as one, one body, many members. But Lord, we are one in you, God. As we come together, Lord, we 
And God, we realize, Lord, that we're here to serve. We're here to serve each other, Lord Jesus. Father, you are our greatest example, Lord. You serve. And so, God, we thank you that as we partake today of your blood, as we partake of the bread, represent your broken body for us. Represent the price that was paid for us at Calvary. Oh God, we're so grateful to you today, hallelujah. We thank you for your blood, hallelujah. We thank you that there's life, Lord. You came that we will have life and have it more abundantly. So every time, oh God, we take, oh God, of your supper, Lord. We're declaring life, oh God. We're declaring restoration. We're declaring healing. We're declaring salvation, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory today. We give you honor. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Bless the Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, eat, this is my body. So as we eat, hallelujah, just as eat together, hallelujah, we thank God for his broken body. We thank God today because his body was broken. We can be made whole in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In the same manner, he took the cup after supper, saying, This is my blood. Precious blood of Jesus. This is my blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so, Father, we take of your blood. We take of your blood today to cleanse us, to wash us, to bring healing to us, oh God. We do this, Lord, in remembrance of you, God. You gave us an example, you leave us an example. So as often as we do this, oh God, we are proclaiming your death, Lord. We are proclaiming your coming back again, Lord. And so as we drink today, we thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
everything you've done for me. Thank you. Amen. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. You may be seated, you may be seated. I love you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Every time you get a little bit too big for your boots, God just shows you a weakness in your life. Just to put you back where you need to be and understand that you would be nothing without Him. I have learned so much from this lady, not just not sitting down talking with her, but watch, watching her serve. She probably never knew that, but I was watching you serve, watching you serve, watching you serve. And it was often said that Pastor A's just had a great spirit and I watched you serve and I saw it and I saw it and uh, loved you for that loved you for that just loved you because I watched you serve in the best of your ability and I watched you serve the man and the woman of God and it left an imprint on my life it really really did and so uh, I just want you just to come for five minutes because it's, it's, you know, she resides in Ghana now. Amen. She resides in Ghana. And so um, even though she resides in Ghana, she is MCCI. She is. She is part of us. Part of us. Part of us. very respected by the leadership team here and I know a bunch of you and so I'd just like you to share something for five minutes please amen it's so lovely to see you amen bless you bless you oh god I was looking around when he said <laughs> he loved this lady I was wondering who it was <laughs> hallelujah god bless you all apostle I honor you Woman of God, in your absence, I want to say thank you. People don't know my story with MCCI, but I am what I am. By the grace of God, and by the help of the man of God, and the woman of God in this place. 2000, yes, 2000, when I met him, I was in a mess. Better Tribe Christian Center was in crisis, and they came to my aid and helped me. And I've always loved them for that. You know, I tell people that if you know, want to know Christ, real Jesus, and apostle, they depict Jesus in the real form. Hallelujah. I've known men of God, I've known men of God, but these are people that actually show you who Christ is. They live it, they say it, and they live it. And I always say that, you know, let me confess. This is my confession. That apostle is preaching to people who are not at the level. He's the pastor of pastors. Yeah. So sometimes I sit down here and the word is coming, I can see that it's flying over people. <laughs> so please, when apostle is preaching, you have to rise up a little bit in the spirit to pick up what he's saying. He doesn't teach to Sunday school children. So, Apostle, I really respect you. MCC is my church. I have nowhere else to go. So, once I come, as long as, long as I'm in London, I come over here. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm part of you, and you are part of me. Amen. I thank you for the number of people who love me. I know so many of you love me. And I can call you at any time, can visit you at any time. And I'm grateful for that. For Sanem, God bless you. And thanks for giving me this opportunity. God bless you all. Let us stay in the spirit. Let us all stay in the spirit. 
For the times we are in are difficult and challenging. But when you rise up into the spiritual realm, that's the only way we can overcome. So as the Galatians tells us, let's walk in the spirit. The spiritual realm is more real than the natural. My brethren, this is what you need to do. Rise up in your spiritual capacity. You cannot stand in these days walking in the flesh. So let's check ourselves. Bind ourselves to the man of God. Take the words of God that are coming in faith and begin to run with it. God bless you. Hold you up then. I know I know we have to do offering, but did, did you say can we see? Absolutely, can we see? Alright. Amy, can we see all my life? You have been faithful. Amy, please come, please come. Please come then. Apostle, will you will you come along after that, sir? Alright, bless you.
Friends have let me down. Friends have let me down. But you never let me down. Poor Jesus. I love you. Save your feeling. Poor Jesus.